Let's continue the unsettling sound by way of a reminder of where we're going. Um, un, let's see, unsettling. T, T, let's just do this over again, totally. And unsettling. Sounds heavenly music. And this is zero zero one and series one oh three. All right, we were talking earlier about uh, the Jesus, the need that uh, Jesus had or his job, what he was doing, was turning ordinary stones into diamond, ordinary metal into gold. He was turning ordinary people into disciples. And we was taking a look at uh, the influence of that. Now we want to take a look at how Jesus moves. He, he moves in a very mysterious way. Say We'll say that this is Jesus, Jesus. And then we'll say he moves. And and then we'll kind of say uh, in two centers. And we'll put our two centers here. Moves in two centers. And on one side we'll put the head. Representative of our humanity. And on the other side we'll put the heart. Also representative of our humanity, but oftentimes this is incompatible with the head is incompatible with the heart, and we're going to call these centers energy. Here, and you can either move in the head or you can move in the heart, and we're simply saying that over here on the head side was the rich. Usually they have used their intelligence or their intellectual accumulation to benefit themselves. Over here is the poor, the fishermen, the worker, the prostitute, the people who are the lowest on the scale. Over here you got knowledge, K N O W L. Let's just make that clear. We don't want to confuse you over here. K N O W L E D L E D G E. You got knowledge, information. Over here you got mind. You got thinking. You also have a certain conscience. S C O N S C I E N C E conscience. You got thought. At the outer world. Outer world. Over on this side. And in the middle, and on this side, on the heart side, you got, well, let's give it a different color. You got love. You got awareness. You got consciousness you also have belief belief let's spell that correctly B E L I 
E F. You also have faith. So, huh? You have trust. And on this is on this side. And uh and the heart is very, very strong on these things. And then right in the middle you have we do our figment of our little man. We give him a heart here. And then we'll give him sort of a semi smile. But we'll put the mind here. And here's the heart. Okay, so when we take a look at this, the challenge before we put his arms on is to and he's got a, he's trying to balance the head with the heart. This is very rare. It's very rare to be able to balance uh, this balance. Of course, we know that Jesus was able to Jesus was able to balance this. Right, he was a Jesus was a perfect man. It takes a perfect man, a perfect human being, a perfect God, to balance the head and the heart. This is a Christ consciousness. O U S N E S S. And that's the goal that we are seeking to achieve. But when you take a look at this, you begin to see where we're going. How difficult it is to balance the head with the heart. And the struggle, as we indicated, where Jesus did not go for the rich, powerful, famous, or those who are in, uh, in charge. He went for the poor, who had more love, who was more, who was likely to be closer to being aware, closer to being believing and being trusting. And that became a very important ingredient. So as we get into the Beatitudes, we began to see right away that Jesus was basically dealing in the, in the Beatitudes We see uh, Jesus' Beatitudes is God singing, or God's song, through Jesus. And what was that song? That song was, as we indicated, the balance that Jesus is, that Jesus is the medium. Jesus is the bridge. Jesus is the passage. This is our bridge, the passage. That Jesus is the flute or instrument that God used to communicate with us. He's the bamboo. He is the messenger. And the heavenly music that comes through him is the music that's for us all. When we share it,
But in order to receive it, we have to become the salt 